Welcome back YouTube. This is my uh, part two of my video pickup on my video games. And uh, these are just going to be a bunch of games I bought over October and November. And actually one in December. And uh, let's get to the old systems first. Uh, these three actually I bought. This one I bought online. I actually bought on Amazon. This is one game. I'll show it to you right now. Our Racing Evolution for the PlayStation 2. Um, you play as uh, her, Yumi. Pretty awesome. Um, I actually had this game a long time ago. And uh, I got through it, beat it all, and then I sold it to GameStop. And I don't know why I did it. I just, like, I didn't want I didn't want it. I was like, oh, I should have kept it. I, and I had a, I got, like, uh, I guess a hankering to play it again. Because it was, it was a very good racing game. It's from the uh, Ra uh, Ridge Racer series. This is sort of like a side story in a way. And it does have a, so a story. You play as a uh, Ayumi there, right there, her, and um, you are an ambulance driver, and you're taking I don't I guess the driver to a hospital or something. Must be on a wreck or something. And then the manager's like, "You're so cool and fast. I'll offer you a job." And like, "Oh, okay, sure." And and uh, you play, you race. You start off as a beginner, and then you have some. You have another lady and. Tall, very large chest lady that shows. They show a lot of cleavage. I mean, come on, you're racing. Don't you don't need that. Whatever, it's cool. But uh, if you're a racing fan and like a uh, Ridge Racer, get this game. I got it, I got it for only two bucks, uh, and this was used. But I mean, this is literally brand new copy. Look how look at that. You can see the camera. Hey, uh, it's awesome. The other. These are the two actually I bought on uh, Facebook. I bought them one at a time. This is, I'll give you this one. This is actually the game I bought the same night I bought my Xbox One. It's uh, Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing, the first one. I kind of wanted the second one, but I don't actually have it. I'm playing it right now. I played it last night on my Xbox and my PS3. I'm sorry. And uh, fun. This game's fun. I did not know. I didn't know I was gonna have that much fun with this game. And very easy. It's. There's some tracks that are kind of hard. I don't really have to push myself, but at the same time, I'm going through it with ease, and I'm loving it. I am. This is a very good racing game. Uh, I like Sonic, and I want to actually get the second one. I might have to get it for the PS3 because I don't know if it could play on the Xbox. I know it's on the 360, but I don't know if it could play on the Xbox One. I want to see it on my 4K TV. I put my 360 upstairs um, once I got my Xbox One. So I'm going to have to, I'll, I'll look into it, see how it is, but yeah, that's cool. Not much to say, just Sonic Racing, it's a, it's a kart game. The other, I actually never, I haven't played this yet. I bought it like, oh, I say two, three weeks ago. And uh, yeah, it's uh, for the Wii. It's a uh, Super Paper Mario, and uh, my wife actually played this more. I actually, I got it from a lady, and she sold me like five bucks, and that was it. I'm like, yeah, I'll take it, whatever. Because I'm not for sure actually how much this goes for on Amazon or not, but it looked pretty good. It's one of those ones that can do 3D, 2D, 3D, and my wife loves that stuff. So I'm like, here you go. And she loves Mario, so this was a steal. And uh, I wish I had played this more, so I can't really talk about it. It just, it pretty much, you're a paper, you're like 2D, you can switch back between like here's 3D, and here's 2D, and then come, there's 3D, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, the only thing is, is, it's only one player. I wanted the two players so me and her could play together, but, you know, can't win them all. The others, uh, this is actually my first Xbox One game I ever owned. This is, I bought it at a Hastings uh, bookstore for, I think, 15 bucks. And, uh, yeah, Dead or Alive 5, last round. Pretty awesome. Uh, I actually played some online on it. There's a lot of people that kick my butt a lot. <laughs> But, uh, I like the Dead or Alive series, um, this seems, what I love about this game, it has a cool story mode. That's, uh, something that they never, uh, really had in the others. And all of, I have a several, uh, see, I have D-Way 2 right here, I have a couple on the 360, but, uh, it's just like, they didn't, the story was just like, you play a character and then suddenly someone comes out of nowhere and they say a line and they fight. And like, give me something else than that. And this one actually brings a cool story. I haven't played all of it through, 
But it's actually, like, got me more intrigued. Like, the movie. The movie sucked, but at the same time, it made we're Dead Alive. I mean, I should do a, a, a review on the movie because the movie's pretty good. Yeah, it's not... It's not good, but it's, it's good enough to, like, yeah, it's a good movie to watch. I mean, they give you the babes. They give you volleyball. They give you the fighting. That should give you a coherent story where these people are beating the crap at each other for some reason. And the games are like, hey, oh, oh, who are you? Just fight, and that's it. Get Dead or Life 5. It has, it's pretty cool. This is the last round, so it has all the cool DLC to it. It has, like, half of the characters from... Oh, what's it called? What's that game called? Virtual Fighter. Yeah. So, awesome game. This one is actually the latest one I, I got. It's... <laughs> I'll show it. Dragon Age Inquisition. I got this. This is like 20 bucks, but I got it for $10 at Target. And, uh... Wow. Um, I had Origin, but I... Was it Origin? Dragon Age Origin? Yeah. I, I sold that off. Because I didn't... Because it wasn't on my 360... It was on my 360. I couldn't play my Xbox One. And I didn't want to have the time. I wanted to play it downstairs. Because I couldn't... I can't really play it too much upstairs. So... This is pretty cool. I got half... I'm like... At the beginning, I had to go... I'm not going to spoil the story. I'm sorry. I, I'm not going to do that. But so far, the character creation is not bad. Um, I'm playing as a woman this time. I'm like, yeah, I'll do it. I'll be a girl. You know, I don't do too much. I usually be a guy when I do character. But this time, I'm like, sure. I'll be I'll be a girl and you know, a woman on this thing. And uh, I had my daughter help me out, a Ninja Kitty, with all the cool, like, what's her name and all this stuff. So... I'm not going to show her most of it, because it, <laughs> he has some strong sexual content and nudity, so I'm like, that's pretty much all I'm going to have her do, is just help me with the character, and I'm not going to play it around her. I don't want to have her, I'm like, what's that? Like, that's nothing. Don't look at it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Um, this is going to be a long game. So, I'm, uh, it's going to take me forever. It's like Far Cry 4. It's going to take me a long time to beat this game. It's, I'm still playing Turn of the Final 5, so... <laughs> I can't, I, I gotta stop. I gotta stop buying these games, all these long, hard games, and I have no time for it. I just, like, no, put it down. I don't care. You, it's like, not, who cares the $9? Just let it go. <laughs> these three games, I actually bought at the same time, and I, I never make this. You could buy three games and get one free, and uh, at Target, it was a while ago, my... We got, uh, me and my wife got some, like, a refund or something, and so we had some extra money, and I'm like, let's do it, and I don't know why. I never do this, because I, once we have money, I, you know, I'm like, I'm always like, we gotta buy this, we gotta buy this, we can't buy this. You know, we can't buy something we don't need. But for some reason, I was like, yes, three for, <laughs> three games for that, and, uh, this one. Um, I'll show you the first one right here. This is actually one I actually always wanted. It's a Lego City Undercover for the Wii U. Actually, I'm playing it right now, upstairs. Um, oh, great. Fun game. That's what I love. It's a fun, simple game. Not too big. Not, it's not hard. The open world's not too big. It, it's very enclosed and just... It's just... It's a very cool game. I love it. It's one, one game where I, don't, I can take it back. Take take it easy and just play the game without worrying about everything. Um, love the story so far. I love the comedy. Um, the driving is a little a little tough. Turning, it, you. I wish I had more of a better control. I wish you can actually play with a regular controller, but you have to use the Wii U gamepad. And the turning element in it, it just it's not good. They really want you to drive straight. So, oh well. If you have a Wii U and you love Lego, I suggest get this game because it is pretty cool. I, I and I'm only like halfway through it. I actually been playing this game a little bit more than these games. I'm talking about time and no about in these long games. Here I am playing this. Oh well, it's a good game. The other, uh, this is actually the one I did want, and that is Titanfall 2. Oh man. Before I made the first video, I actually got a little further in this game, and then suddenly, a week later, they had some sort of update patch. I'm like, okay, fine, update patch, let's check it out. 
And uh, when I got bank back into it, it like I don't know what happened. It seemed like it deleted my save because every time I loaded the game, it started me from the beginning. I'm like, no, 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 I saved. I made sure I got through it. I I should get in more detail of the, of the game. I I mean, there's probably plenty of people who have talked about this game, so I don't need to really, you know, it's a very good game. The little bit of the AI is lacking. Um, uh, I got to a part where there's these guys, there's like six guys on this hill and they're shooting at me and they kept saying the same thing over and over again all the time and it's very easy just to pop up, boom, get a headshot, boom, bam. And, um, I, it, it's a good game but a little busted and I don't know about the safe thing, that's the thing. I'm going to have to probably play it again and see if I can try to get, if I had to start over, I'm going to be a little, I'm going to be a little pissed. I'm like, well, come on. <sighs> Anyways. Um, the combat and I love the running. It's actually pretty cool. If it, it, it's so smooth, it's a very cool, smooth game. And uh, I haven't really played too much of the multiplayer. I want to, but I gotta get into that later. And the last game is the other one I bought at the same time I bought Titanfall and the uh, Lego City. And that is Red Dead Redemption, Game of the Year edition. Um, see, I actually played Red Dead Redemption. Once, only a little bit. It was actually uh, at a friend's house, and I borrowed it. It was pretty awesome. But I was like, I'm gonna buy this for. I don't want to play the whole thing, so I gave it back. And it took me. I was like, when it first came out. So yeah, it's been a long time. And I know number two is gonna come out of it. So I'm like, you know what? I'll get it. Um, and man, it is uh, just like I played before. It's pretty awesome. Uh, you play. There's a little bit of uh, glitchiness they still have in there. Like, I remember, I'm, the first part of it, I go out of, I'm trying to think of her name. It's the lady who helps you out. They, she's the one who picks you up and heals you. Marie? Anne Marie? I forgot her name. Dang it. Anyways, uh, I go outside of my room, and then I look at the corner, look at the side, and there's a couple of people, stay, you know, like, standing there, and then suddenly this guy just, shoo, boom, and gets it. Uh, just like stops right there. He like slides across and just sits there and he just leans across the thing. I'm like, what the heck was that? <laughs> so, I mean, it's a, it's a little glitchy still, even though it's the game of the year, but it's so good. The, the writing, the shooting, it's it's top notch. This game is awesome. And I, again, like Titanfall 2, people raved about this game. I'm not going to go into det details, but as a cool Western game, I say pick it up. It's awesome. Uh, that? So that's it then. I actually don't have really anything else. Um, I did, I've been, I had a day off, so I've been actually going around, and I'm, I was, I, I'm going to invest into a 2DS. I was never a big fan of 3DS or anything, so I said 2DS I played, and it looked pretty awesome. So I might actually buy one of those, and uh, if anyone watches this video, give me some... Give me some hints or something. Give me something to like, hey, the 2DS can do this and this and this and this. And it's pretty awesome. And recommend some games for me because that'd be cool. And, uh, well, that's about it. I, I probably won't make a, too many videos of this. Maybe like uh, uh, if I have a list or something. But uh, probably pick a video after December. Um, uh We'll see what happens. At the, uh, I think at the beginning of the year, I'm going to make this. I'm going to full make this channel big. I'm going to full blow it. Just bring it all out. I'm going to start making more lists, more games, more everything. I'm going to try to make it all the time. And that uh, that it, uh, hopefully because uh, in February something's coming uh, and it's going to be very big and. Whew, and I hope I'm ready for it. I'll tell you in February. <laughs> Just oh, all right. Uh, that's about it. Um, yeah. See you later, YouTube.